It's a celebration of the best Kentucky art and craft. This weekend, the Kentucky Arts Council and Kentucky State Parks are hosting the Kentucky Crafted Outdoor Market at Waveland State Historic Site in Lexington. For me, you know, all of the events put on that involve crafts and music in Kentucky and also events put on by the Arts Council, they always wind up being a little bit like a family reunion for me because I get to see the craftspeople that I have known for years. I get to see other musicians. I get to, you know, meet new fans and old fans, try food. It's just sort of a feast for the senses. And the other thing I really like about this, the fact that this one is going to be outdoors is that for those of us who are wanting to, to be with other people, but because of, you know, virus numbers and whatnot, don't feel comfortable being indoors yet. I think this is the perfect opportunity to get in a really good celebration uh, while it's still warm outside. I will be showing and selling and talking about uh, my wearable art. I make uh, all kinds of ponchos and scarves out of natural plants and natural dyes, a lot of which I grow myself. Uh, I've got a, some of the plants that I use right here. I've got black eyed Susans, zinnias, I've got walnut leaves and red buds. You'd really be surprised at what you can do with the dye plants in your own backyard. You create works of art through your clothing and, and it, tell us a little bit about, you know, how you got into this and what you do. Uh, well, uh, my husband and I lived on a farm and uh, I just noticed all of the different kinds of plants there were. We had a lot of butterflies that visited us. And then I learned that a lot of those plants were also natural dyes. So I started just uh, dyeing different kinds of uh, clothing, uh, some that I would get at a thrift store and some that I would make myself. And now I really only make uh, different kinds of wearable art out of organic cotton. Um, I use natural dyes such as indigo. This is an indigo dyed scarf. And a lot of these prints you see are the prints that I've made with plants. Uh, and this is a poncho, which fits almost everybody. And it's made out of organic cotton velour, which is a very luscious fabric. And um, it's dyed with walnut leaves and Osage orange, which is a tree that most people want to cut down. Uh, I love it because it makes this beautiful yellow dye. Uh, and then also there's a maple leaf right here and some steel wool. And you put it on and you feel like you're just covered up with a uh, luscious uh, miracle from nature. Carla, we've had you on Best of the Bluegrass before sharing your dancing talents with us. So what will you be doing at this year's Kentucky Outdoor Crafted Market? Well, I'll be appearing with my daughter and my son-in-law and uh, we do old-timey traditional Kentucky music, some originals. I've got my, my banjo. Uh, we do showcase some of the Appalachian flat footing and clogging and really just uh, highlight the heritage of our state, the traditional music of Appalachia. What does it mean, uh, I asked this question for both of you, to be part of this Kentucky outdoor crafted market? Carla, we'll start with you and then you, Cindy. Well, it's, it's just an honor and a privilege to get to be with so many of my talented peers and to get to represent my state. Um, it's really, it's just a pleasure. It's one of the perks of the job of being a, a full-time artist to get to be part of something like this. And Cindy, what does it mean to you? Well, I think like Carla, it means to me uh, sharing my art with people who really appreciate it. Uh, it also means sharing my art with other artists. Uh, we really appreciate each other and we're our own community. We've been apart for a long time, so it's really going to be exciting to see everybody again. The market is open Saturday from 10 to 6 and Sunday from 10 to 5. Tickets are $5. You can get them online at artscouncil.ky.gov or at the event.